Rudy, it's been like 12 hours since you opened these. I know, I know. So everybody, hope everyone's having a fantastic day. As always, thank you for tuning in. You're watching Betas and Timmy's Emporium's outfit on the Breakfast Channel. And um, not a whole lot going on today, everybody. Uh, Throne of Eldraine, we're past the pre-release. Everything's kind of stabilizing. We're approaching the main release here in the next couple days. And uh, haven't really seen a lot of shenanigans. Haven't seen anything too crazy going on. A little bit of drama still going on. Some people are getting hosed on the whole uh, uh, pre-order packs and things where they didn't get their buy a box promos for the local tournament WPN locations. But besides that, not really else, not much going on right now. Everybody's just uh, rolling into October here. So, John, thank you for being a patron, sir. Good luck on the Drano. I hope that's not you hiding through that window. We got our very first alternate frame. We got a mer, folk. We're going to see how we do today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, all right, only one alternate frame, no rares in the second slot, and we do have a bonus, Oko's Hospitality looking at the Talisman, and just a foil rare dwarf. All right, so that is pack one, folks, we're going to see how we go on today's, uh, I know a lot of people are really obsessed right now with watching my videos on these openings and trying to track the, uh, the box topper, full Monty cards and everything, and I... Yeah, there's, there's a lot. Wow, really? Yeah, the same one again, back to back. That's a little, it's kind of ironic, if you ask me. Ooh, that's a nice one. Ranger alternate. So we got a nice two, two top there. And uncommon, common, and common. And I see a Rowan in our future. Nice mythic in the bonus slot. We had a nice Troll King. And a regular foil rare, happily ever after. So... The, uh, the thing that everybody wants to know about is everyone's trying to track the box toppers like me. We're trying to figure out the average quantity per box, the nice little fairy, and they're trying to figure out overall, like, how the value is going to stabilize for those particular cards. Common, common, common. And another rare. Rowan, another Rowan rare. Very nice. Booms. Stone Coil Serpent. I see our first box topper. Very nice. Escape to the Wild. Full Monty box topper, everybody. And the Creepy Token. So that's the first time we've had one a little early in the opening. Usually they're a little later in the opening. God, I can't even grip these things this morning. Goodness gracious. Can't even... Oh my god, look how long it took to open that pack. Alright, here we go. Alright, so overall, uh, not a lot of price movements yet. Boom! Beautiful alternate uncommon hypnotic. And another uncommon... Oh, I see another box topper in our future. Oh my god, that means they're back to back again. Unsorted again. And... Oh wait. Sorry, that was a non-foil. Hang on. Wrong slot. And, wow, really? So our extra slot has been a rare mythic. Wow, this has been a really good one. Once upon a time and a wild-born preserver. Very, very nice. Box topper on there. Not too bad, everybody. All right, let's see. Uh, well, two box toppers. I know, they're always grouped together. Everybody keeps mentioning that. I'm like, ah, oh, this video is no better. Tactician, ooh, and a nice Shepherd of the Flock, beautiful, nice, I love the, uh, starting off the box with, uh, two alternate frames, it's always a very nice start, everybody, and, oh, another rare, wow, Fairy Formation, oh my god, it happened again, full box topper feet, there we go, three box toppers in a row, three packs, man, they're always clumped together, every video we do, they clump them, is it going to be three or four, and then it's going to be stopped? Watch. And that's what people's fears are. That's the concerns of everything. So, first few slots, no special frames. Oh, there's one uncommon fairy special frame. Basic cards. And there's the swing, and there's the crap card. Windscard. Nice little gargoyle. And, oh, mythic robber of the rich. Very nice. So, that's it. So, we had the three box toppers in a row, and now we're done. So I am predicting either zero. So pretty much if I was a scummy store, like, and everybody's coming into Friday night, which I don't do Friday Night Magic, the rest of these packs, as a store owner, you could sell the rest of these packs based on the assumption that you've already pulled the three box toppers, and the odds of any more box toppers in the complete other batch of booster packs are very low, and that is the concern that everyone needs to be aware of out there. All right, boom, Murderous Rider. Finally got a rare in the bonus slot there. That's nice. And another rare, Mammoth. And the acclaimed contender. And a regular version. 
Wild Born Preserver. See, that's the problem, everybody. Is uh, I, I, we may get one more box topper, but I feel like we, we're going to get zero. We've already gotten them all. Swordmaster. So, again, buyer beware out there for everybody who uh, is looking to do loose packs, especially if you don't know where they're coming from. All right, here we go. Common, common, and triple common. And uh, swing and a miss. And first, and a foil Fires of Invention, regular foil rare. Yeah, it looks like the trend continues to hold true so far, at least on my batch of boxes. Hopefully uh, some other people out there maybe open some different batches from different maybe printing areas or distribution. Maybe theirs will be different than mine. Bone Crusher Giant, there's a nice alternate. I kind of really have been a big fan of the alternate cards that are not foil. Kind of, I feel like that, I don't know, I feel like it's a really unique thing because we've never had box toppers without foils. Another rare, Silver Wing and the Fervent, very nice card, and a Dance of the Mance for the regular foil rare. All right, everybody. What do you think, John? Does it feel like the, uh, God, I can't even grip these things this morning. Does it feel like the box toppers are clumped together? Because to me it is on all the videos. I'm sure everyone's been watching these things. Lonesome Unicorn for the first Fancy Schmancy. And, ooh, four Uncommon Pack. That was a very nice. And Uncommon, Uncommon, Common. Boom, baby! Another Mythic, the Provocateur. Ooh, and a Mythic Embercleave. And a Foil Rare. Ooh, I like that. That's, so, that is it. Boy, this is another box opening. We did not get a Mythic Box Topper. Again, that's where the big money is, everybody. The Mythic Box Toppers. That is the... Those are the tough ones. Acolyte, very nice. And anything else? No, nothing else in the common uncommon. Three regulars, no rares. And a nice bonus chittering witch wear. Another dance of the mance extended. And a foil rare. The old gilded goose, everybody. Last pack. And guess what? The trend holds true. That should be the name of this video. The trend holds true. All three box toppers clumped together again. There's our nice... That's disturbing, everybody. All right, Shepard of the Flockaroo. And uh, common, common, common. And nice little Bramble Uncommon. Ooh, Fabled Passage, Beautiful Art. And a Foil Rare, Lord of Garenbrig. Well, folks, there you go. Sure enough, the three box toppers are clumped together again. So we're going to the second part of the video right now. We're heading over. Uh, John, will do your second box. Overall, not bad. You did get three box, so pretty much... Every one of these collector's booster boxes, you get between two and four of the full Monty box toppers. That is, which is the foil, extended art, the big daddy of the video. So the key is to try to get four of those. And again, don't be surprised if you see some of the other bizarre things also have value. But that seems to be the overall metric to follow. There's our nice queen for the first one. Alright, and nothing else in the second Uncommon slot. We got common, common, and triple common. Nothing. Ooh, nice little bonus rare. Workshop Elders with a Oath Sworn Knight. Very nice. With, oh, and with a regular foil rare knight. Not bad. So let's see when the, uh, see when the box toppers start to show up, everybody. By the way, that top card always has a little bit of sliding from roller marks from the uh, printing machine. You can see that. Anybody else been noticing that in the videos? All right, here we go. And nothing else. Here we go. Common, common. We got the triple basics. Boom, baby! Another Asheville hero. Mythic. Very nice. Folio. And the nice Castle of Aldenval. Nice foil rare. Beautiful, beautiful card, everybody. All right. Still no box toppery full arts in box two. All right. Fairy. And uncommon slot. Ooh, very nice tournament grounds. And uncommon, common. Nothing. And here we go, everybody. We got the Mace of the Valiant. Very nice little uh, bonus there. And, ooh, Castle. And, oh, Hush Money Foil Rare, baby. So, again, still no bonus yet. Box 2 still contains no box, no full Monty box topper. So, and again, once we get the first one, we're going to know where the next one is. It's kind of sad that we can kind of figure that out, but, all right, whatever. All right, Uncommon, Uncommon. Un ooh, zero fancy frames in the first slot. And no rares in the second slot. Oh, garbage. Thornwood in the third slot. Rudy the Dwarf. And, ooh, very... See, I like that. Still doesn't have to be a box topper, but the alternate frame foil rare bone crust. I love that. That's still, in my opinion, that's still a good hit. 
It's not the whole, you know, box topper version, but, you know, merfolk. Still not bad, by the way. There's, like I said, it's still, there's other methods of value. Boom! Garouk makes an appearance today! All right, God, he is tough to get. That's only the second Garouk we've gotten. And this is, uh, according to my records, this is the seventh box opening video, which means we've opened 14 boxes, only the second one in the Mythic bonus slot. Look at that. I love how it's in that slot. That's very cool. Knight's Charge Rare, got a nice extended Hush Money. Ooh, and a nice Love Struck Beast alternate art. So, uh, or not alternate, our ultimate frame. So, again, we have two nice alternate frames. Still zero box toppers. So, again, you usually get one to four per box. So, we're still at zero. Gonna be curious to see how this ends up. We got a nice Merfolk. By the way, anybody noticing the duplication on that? Has anybody been noticing that? I've noticed that the last few videos. Ah, uh, Creepy Intruder Chick. Alright, so what are we looking at? Uncommon, uncommon, common. And Rowan for the nice bonus rare. And stolen by the Fey. There we go. Opportunistic Dragon Box Topper Extended R4. It's the first time I've seen that one. Uh, a little plain vanilla, a little, a little forgettable, but it's alright. This is where the comment section goes crazy because it's probably the most expensive in the card. Most expensive card in the set, which will be hilarious. Alright, so let's see how we do here, folks. Heading to the uncommon. Boom, Shepard. We got a nice, that's good. Two in that box. And common, common, and triple common for the basics. Ooh, another mythic, fake Hurst. Oh, there we go again. That means the next card should be because the box toppers are all clumped together. There it is, Mirror Maid. Ooh, that looks gorgeous, everybody. Look at that. So two box toppers. And, wow, that is really nice. So sure enough, back-to-back -back box toppers. So depending, so if we have more than two box toppers in this box, I would expect this third pack here to also be a full Monty box topper. Based on the trend of pretty much me doing these videos. Ooh, a nice Fey. Nice little bonus rare there. That's very nice. Alright, Fairy Formation. There is the Piper of the Swarm. Very nice. And a regular foil rare. So maybe we're looking at only a two box topper box. Hopefully we can get an extra one. Because uh, two is not very many. So, yeah. Kind of is what it is, everybody. Fairy Godmother. Alright, and where are we at here? Savvy, Shepherd, and that's it. So we had one little alternate frame. Uncommon, uncommon, common. Oh, look at that. No box topper, yep. Yeah. Alright, and a Windscarred Garbage. And a Lord, and a... Just a Foil Rare? Paragon. So, here we go. Um, two box toppers clumped in this box. Three box toppers clumped on the other box that we did. So, buyer beware out there. It looks like there is a pattern emerging. And three basics. Nothing good. Wow. Foil rare. And very nice elder. And a... Ooh! Another mythic. Robber of the rich. Didn't we get any other box? A double mythic foil? Wow. That's... That's really cool. Again, you get that in a box topper. Whew. That's... That's big money there. Acolyte. So, yeah. How about them apples? Am I right? Alright. We got a nice little bonus rare. Fey of the Wishes. Ooh! Double bonus rare. That's nice. And a love struck. Wow, that's the first time I've seen that. And terrible Oko. And just castle. And a wild burn pres wild born preserver. Basic rare, everybody. Last pack of the box. Please be a box topper so that we can actually break the trend. And I am proven wrong that there is not a pattern. That would be really nice to see right now. Beautiful foil uncommon creepy chick. And beautiful Ordinary Order of Midnights with no bonus rares. Oh, the Signet for the $17.99. $18 common in the house. And come on, please be a box topper so it breaks the pattern. It's not. The pattern holds. Love Struck Beast regular. So there it is, folks. Well, it is what it is. So as you guys can see, box two. If you look at all the booster packs in box two. Guess what? The only two box toppers were clumped together again. Box one, all three box toppers clumped together. All right, well, it is what it is. John, thanks for being a very kind patron. Uh, hope you enjoy all these beautiful cards, and uh, hope everyone's enjoying the old throne era. Other than that, as always, enjoy your day. Take care of yourself, and there's so much beauty out there. Be nice to each other. Come on, everybody.